Hi everyone, Ryan Ratliff here, guide and fly tying manager at Mad River Outfitters. So you're in the market for a new fly rig. Couple things that we're gonna ask you. So what's your budget? So are you pretty restricted? Does the wife or whoever have you wallet pretty restricted? Or did you get some extra money from your Meemaw from Christmas? Oh, nice memories. First thing we, we need to talk about is the budget. That's what we're gonna ask you. What do you wanna spend? So there's all kinds of options out there. If you are just fishing for trout, just fishing for panfish, bass, where you're hardly ever gonna get any drag or any, they're not gonna pull out any line from off the reel, then we're pretty simple. It's gonna basically be a line holder. We wanna, you know, we don't wanna have just something that looks like a line holder. We want something that looks nice. So you gotta take those into consideration too. Couple different options. There's a reel out that is $50, somewhere around there. And it is great. It's gonna have a better drag than you're gonna need. It's gonna hold the, a line and it's going to be a larger arbor. There's all kinds of different verbiage and stuff that we use, but basically there is a reel that is currently out called the Crosswaters by Reddington. Basically it's like a plastic reel. So this, it holds line just fine. It's got a drag on it. So if you would happen to need to have that drag, it's a great option. What you're looking for in a budget reel is just basically something that is gonna take care of the needs for the fish that you're trying to go after. If you're gonna catch a fish that might take the drag, maybe uh, you might come in contact with a carp, or you may be a stray catfish when you're bass fishing, then you want it something that might have at least an option to slow a fish down. So this is a drag. Now, some reels, don't have drags, they're called click paws, where you would actually palm the reel. That's one way to slow it down. As long as it has something, an exposed rim that you can palm, that's one thing to do. So a budget reel is something that is going to meet the needs. It might not look the best, it might not be the most durable, but it's gonna at least meet your needs. So a reel like this is a great option. If you have a little bit more money saved up, then you might wanna move into a metal reel couple different types of options. You have cast aluminum and you have machined aluminum. The cast aluminum is going to be light, it's going to be fairly durable, and it's going to be made out of uh, a material aluminum, but it's going to be made where it's going to be uh, versatile. You can usually switch the spools with it. So it's, it's a good option. There is just the one that I have here is this Spectrum C, metal obviously cast aluminum that's what it is right so it's got a drag um, the only issue with a cast reel is they're not very impact resistant so if I would drop this just like a plastic reel if I would drop it it could break crack bend the spool something like that but most of the time under regular fishing conditions and and different strenuous things that we do when we fish the, this is going to be totally fine. Either one of these reels. So if you're in the bud, in, if you have a budget and you're in the market for something that's relatively inexpensive, then a cast reel or maybe one of these higher and modern plastic reels. So if you do, if you ha do have a little bit extra money and you want to save up for something, and you're actually fishing for something that's going to take drag and you need to have a smooth drag, then. There are many reels out there. Most of those reels are going to be a machined aluminum reel. It's going to be a little bit more durable, a little bit higher quality, precise machining. So the, the spool is going to rotate more smoothly and they're going to have higher quality drags. Now, if I'm bass fishing, if I am catching smaller trout, uh, bluegill fishing, I don't need the drag, like I said earlier. So I wouldn't necessarily be going for a high-end reel for those types of fish, unless that's what you like. But a reel like this is highly machined. It's been tried and true for many, many years. It has a drag system that will stop just about anything. One of the keys with a drag, with the higher end reels in the drag system is what we call startup inertia. So once the drag gets pulled, it's gonna be slow 
This is hard. There's just enough to make it stop from backlashing, but as it starts to go, it's going to really, that's when the drag kicks in. It's going to really tighten up. So it's a smoother drag system startup. And as it pe peels out, uh, fish that take a lot of drag, you're talking about your salmon, your a big, big carp, your uh, some steelhead, your, all your saltwater type fish, especially your big tarpons, blue water fish, that type of thing, is going to need to be a reel that has good startup inertia and something that's going to have a good adjustable drag. And this isn't something that you're going to get, I'm not going to buy this again to go bluegill fishing. Um, I'm not going to buy this to go uh, even bass fishing per se. So these reels also have had many world records on them, that type of thing. So your high-end reels, you know them because you look at the price tags on them, but your T-Bores, your Nautilus, your, your Hatch reels, your Ross reels, your Able reels, all those types of reels are going to be high-end reels that are high quality, have good durable coatings on them, good, good durable reels that have good durable adjustable drag. Depends on what your budget is. There are reels out there for everyone's budget. Thanks for joining us. Don't forget to subscribe and down there somewhere, maybe here or here, something down there, like it, right? Like it, um, I guess, I don't know, that's what they say. I don't know, but something like that and give us a call. We'll, we're here to help you out. All right, thanks. If you like this video, hit subscribe. It helps out a lot. And check out these videos. We think you might like them too.